I definitely learned more about how and where to network with other graphic designers. Um, since I work on a small scale right now, I hadn't really considered branching out uh, for the future, but I knew that I would have to move to a larger area if I wanted like a better paying job. Um, so networking will make that a lot easier in that area. What I had shared um, in the posts and stuff, um, my experiences working as a graphic designer currently, I've been doing it for about three years now. Um, so I hoped, you know, the things that I did share would help my classmates that didn't really know what all it entails. It is sometimes hard and stressful and frustrating, but I really couldn't see myself doing anything else for a living, so that's why I'm here. After the lesson about industry growth, it seems that having an edge in any way will help you make it as a designer on a bigger scale. I'll need to keep up on the trends in technology to keep an edge and realize that there is so much more than just advertising and photography, which is what I've done, um, that graphic design is necessary for. So that kind of put things in a new light for the future. Um, not that I thought graphic design was only an advertising thing, but up until now that's all I've done was advertising and photography, photo editing, so. I am going to use the time management tools like the calendar uh, to keep myself in check and make sure that nothing gets overlooked. That is something I need to do as a forgetful human being to keep my plans organized, so I'll also be using what I learned about making connections to expand opportunities um, professionally and otherwise. Well, first off, not everyone is able to make the live sessions for various reasons, but just because they don't have a grade doesn't mean you should skip it. Watch the live session archives. Um, reading instructions and having them explained to you together will help you understand the assignment better. Also, make sure you explain yourself in your discussion board posts and responses. With this being an online class, it's crucial to communicate clearly and in depth with your instructors and with your classmates. Also, it's good practice for the future. I communicate with many of the customers I design ads for at the paper, but I've never seen any of them and I rarely talk to them on the phone. Um, so that's kind of how it goes.